Hello Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. We're back again. Um, I'm actually working on the, uh, gonna be doing some, some van dwelling. Actually the, uh, you know, I've got my eyes and so we're basically on the hunt right now for a, another van. Um, I'm wanting to get an older one full size, you know, with not too many miles on it, stuff that I can convert over. Because, uh, like I said, we plan on doing quite a bit of traveling and stuff like that for the next few years, you know, with Kevin moving up there and all that. But as I was saying in that last video, I um, got them seven storage units. And I don't know if we're going today, tomorrow, you know, exactly when we're going, but it's got to be fast. And uh, I got so much going on around here. And they need that stuff out like yesterday. So. Uh, I'm waiting for some uh, pictures to get sent over to us so I can check out, you know, check it out and make sure before I make the make the run, you know, to make sure that it's as good a stuff as it's supposed to be. And then if we get up there, seven storage units, if we get up there and uh, I need to, I may end up just renting a U-Haul, you know, to get it all back, you know, and if there's as much as they're supposed to be and as good stuff as they're supposed to be then uh, just renting a u-haul and getting as much as possible at one time would definitely definitely save us but anyway what i'm doing not just for this trip but right now i'm getting ready to back in this thing out but i'm actually building a false floor in here um because after that last our sumpter run up there it wasn't uh so comfy so i'm actually going to build a false floor that you can you know lift up and uh you just be able to take the whole thing out so i can put the seats back in for the grandbabies too but you'll be able to stash stuff under there and then we'll lay pad on top of it because we're gonna be doing some van dwelling until i get the next van and it's got to be the perfect one so we're just kind of kind of on the hunt you know watching craigslist and got the word out but um so i'm gonna make this one kind of a you know so it'll work for now and especially for this trip that we're taking now because what we'll do is we'll go and then we'll end up uh um as we always do you know we'll pull over pull up an old forest forest service road or old logging road and camp out along the along the creek somewhere up there you know do a little fishing and stuff like that in the evening but uh Anyway, so that's what we got going on today, man. So I'm going to get all the rest of the wood over here. So I'm cutting that up. Going to make that false floor. Get that ready to for a little road trip van dwelling, which we'll film, we'll film our uh, trip up there. Um, still, you know, like I said, I don't know when, when we're taking off or anything like that. Got a lot of things still got to finish up around here. Um, we got a video of Miss Kitty did the Usnia. We just haven't put that on yet. Got to get that, get that on, and still got to plant the starts and stuff like that. We have, but anyway, that way I thought I'd just do a check in of what we're doing. So, just getting ready for a little road trip, man. Gonna go live part time in a van, baby. Oh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it on this tree or in on this camera, but uh, the cotton yesterday was insane, man. It was like a blizzard out here. They let loose. I don't know if you can see it, but now it's dried out a little bit. But man, last night we had a windstorm, rainstorm, thunder, lightning storm, high winds. Actually, blew a about a twenty foot limb off over there, and a bunch of smaller ones here. But man, it came through and with the rain and everything and knocked the crap out of the cotton. But now I can see that it's starting to, there's still a lot of them little balls because they're little balls and then they pop. And like I said, it usually lasts, you know, depending on how much wind and rain we get, it lasts about a week, but they're calling for rain later this week and stuff too. So this is the one that and getting snowed in in the winter are about the two, only two bad things I can say about living in this creek bottom. All right, you all have a wonderful day, and good Lord willing, and the cricks don't rise. We'll be back soon.